Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. In today's tutorial guys, I'll show you how to update your TV in cases um, you want to update your TV to the latest firmware and of course it's recommended to give your software the optimal performance. Alright, so of course this is an Imperial TV, you can see the brand right here. This is the remote and of course the Imperial TV running Google TV, alright? So you're going to get your remote, you're going to move over. And once you move over, you're gonna to go to settings. You should be in the main settings menu. And of course, you're gonna go ahead and make sure you're connected to your Wi-Fi. You're gonna to go to system. Just system is the control unit of this um, TV. And of course, you're gonna go through. And you're gonna um, look on the device preference. And once you're in device preference, you're gonna go down and you should see firmware here you can check your software version so for example here this is software version of my TV of this TV and of course you can go to RCU firmware update and check for the latest version as you can see here it's checking and of course it says already as the latest version of your firmware so this TV is currently up to date you can always check back you can also always check back to make sure that your TV has the latest version to make sure you have the latest software. Now this is a brand new TV, the latest edition, and of course, um, that's why most likely there's no um, updates quite yet. But of course, this is where you come to check your software version. You can always record your software version, check for updates, and as soon as you update, the version will change. So this is the latest software from Google. Alright guys, if your TV says that there's an update, you can always update, you can go um, to settings. Sometimes there's an update, but you tell it there's none. But of course, you can look in a notification area here, so it says Android system update available. You can select from here, or of course, you can take the long way around to select, go, go into settings. You can go down to system, so this is a system related uh, settings, you can go down to you can go down to um, device preference and you see the RCU firmware update. So you can update the firmware on your TV. And you can go to see the software version. As you can see the software version here, you can note it. And of course, go to the update. Or you can go back if it's detecting an update, as we said. And you can select from here. Simply select. So check this out. There you go so it will check for updates and um, depending on the speed of your internet as you can see here there's a system update that's ready and it's downloading the system update and this update says that it's um, 1.35 gigabytes and it says this update will improve device security optimize performance pre-install applications please don't disconnect the internet to turn off the device during the update process so do note if you're gonna do an update on a TV like this, number one, um, do not, um, make sure you have something like a UPS. If there's frequent power cuts in your area, you do not want to up, to mess with this um, process as it could um, damage the TV if during the update process, when it's restarting, that it interferes with the process, all right? All right, so also, once it's updated and it checks for the updates, you should check for them in the background and here we go it says to install now restart your device so we're going to restart now notice it's restarting all right so the tv is going to restart there you go and of course do not stop the install process once it has started make sure that nothing is interfering with the tv and try to avoid power cuts if you have an interrupted um, power supply that does help because you might break your tv and if you do we're not responsible so um, proceed with caution
All right, so we're gonna go back to settings. All right, so we're gonna go all the way down to systems again. All right, we're gonna go to device preferences. And of course, you can check the software version. And of course, um, most times if you did an update, a significant update, it should change the software version. So you can always compare that to your original software version to see if things are updated, all right? And of course, you might notice significant differences depending on the level of the update. So this TV is now fully updated. It took just a few minutes. The new OS is loaded. And of course, everything is working fine. Do hope you enjoy this tutorial. As always, Ricardo for Black Tech Tips. Bye until next time. Bye.